of you in either this class or in past science classes have learned about the concept of pH when talking about acids and bases, but in today's notes we're going to start to see the math behind how you can calculate the pH of a substance. You'll also see about uh, something called pOH, which you probably haven't heard of before. Uh, before you get too far into these notes, I would strongly suggest that you get a calculator out to have nearby when we're going through these notes. Um, whichever calculator you might use on a quiz or test, so that way you get uh, used to practicing where the buttons are because there's a lot of uh, scientific notation when we're doing pH and pOH problems, which can be a little bit clunky, uh, typing those numbers into your calculator. And we're also gonna do something with logs too. So you'll start to see uh, where that comes from. Uh, so as it says there, uh, today we're gonna summarize how to mathematically solve for pH and something you've never heard of before, pOH. In order to solve for pH or pOH, you need to know the H plus or OH minus concentrations. So remember when you see those little brackets around H plus or OH minus, it's a chemistry shorthand for saying the molarity of or the concentration of. Molarity and concentration, they mean the same thing. So you can use those terms interchangeably. You guys know from uh, past science classes, maybe some notes that we took in this class, that the concentration of H plus or OH minus ions will tell you how acidic or how basic something is. If there's lots and lots of H plus ions, it's probably a strong acid. Or if there's lots and lots of OH minus ions, a strong base. But the concentrations of those ions are usually very, very small. Uh, ne uh, something times 10 to the negative number uh, molarity. And so uh, dealing with all those something times 10 to the negative, something times 10 to the negative molarities got a little bit annoying. So to better express those small numbers, a scientist with the name of Soren Sorensen yes, I know, who names their kids Soren Sorensen, uh, developed a new scale called the pH scale. And pH stands for power of hydrogen, power or exponent. pOH is the same idea, but it's just your power of your hydroxide ion. The pH scale typically goes from 0 to 14. It is possible to have a negative pH or a pH greater than 14, just not with any of the problems you're going to see in our class. In math class, you've already learned how to solve for exponents using logs, but I do get a lot of students complain to me that they never really understood what a math what a log was when they learned it in math class. So here's my super simple explanation for you. Uh, if you got the problem 10 times x equals 50 and you had to solve for that x, you would divide by 10 on both sides to get the x by itself, right? And then you could solve and figure out that x is 5 because dividing is a way of undoing that multiplication. Or if you got 10 plus x equals 50, you could subtract 10 from both sides and then you would know that x equals 40 because subtraction is a way of undoing that addition. What if you got the problem 10 to the x power equals 50 and you had to solve for x? Well, you can't add, you can't subtract, you can't multiply, you can't divide. You're starting to run out of buttons on your calculator, right? Um, the button you would press in your calculator is you would ask your calculator what is the log base 10 of 50? And what your calculator is telling you when you hit that button is what power, what exponent you'd have to raise the number 10 to in order to get the answer of 50. So if you do 10 raised to the 1.7 power, you'll get 50. So when you do the log of 50, your calculator will tell you that 1.7. Now, I know in math class, you did problems with logs that were not base 10, or you did problems with natural logs where it had that base E. You aren't going to be seeing those in here. So it's just base 10 logs only. So the, cal the 
equation to calculate the pH of a substance is you would take the negative log of the H plus concentration, whatever that is. So if they give you the H plus concentration is one times 10 to the negative one, we would do the negative log of that number. Well, remember log is just a fancy math way of saying, what is the exponent? What's the power? It's your calculator's way of saying, like up here, solve for the exponent, solve for that 1.7. What do I have to raise 10 to in order to get 50? So if log is just fancy math speak for what is the exponent, when I say what is the exponent of 1 times 10 to the negative 1, you could easily tell me the answer is negative 1. But our equation asks for the negative log. And so we have to look at the exponent and then flip the sign. So the exponent of that first number is negative one, but we flip the sign and make it positive one. Or what's the log of one times 10 to the negative seven? That's negative seven, but we want the negative log. So we flip the sign, 13. You don't have to use your calculator when the numbers are simple. You're going to need your calculator in just a few minutes. Um, now, one thing we've been doing throughout uh, our math problems all the way since August is significant figures. And you guys are going to be really excited to hear that we're going to get a little sig fig break in this chapter because there's a whole set of rules for uh, determining sig figs with logs. And quite frankly, we only do it for a couple days the whole year, and it would be silly for me to try to hold, have a day to explain sig figs and logs for something that we do so uh, rarely. So instead, you just get a, in this chapter, you get a little sig fig break. You don't have to worry about sig figs. And so as long as your answer looks reasonable, you're not writing down every single decimal place that your calculator displays, uh, then I'll mark it as correct. So that's really good news, right? So when you look at these samples here, the H plus ion concentration is decreasing. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. When we go from 1 times 10 to the negative 1, 1 times 10 to the negative 7, 1 times 10 to the negative 13. As that H plus is going down, our pH number is going up. What that means is that if something is really acidic, if it has lots of H plus, then that means that the pH is going to be closer to zero. pH and H plus are opposites of one another. As one goes down, the other goes up. So if your H plus concentration is 1 times 10 to the something, you should easily be able to solve for that pH in your head because all it's asking you to do when you do logs is to What's the exponent? You don't need a calculator to look at those numbers and know that the exponents are 1, 7, and 13. But if your H plus concentration is not 1 times 10 to the something, you're still doing the same equation. You're still doing the log. You're still doing what's the exponent, but you just can't solve for it in your head anymore. So if I told you that the H plus concentration was 2.7 times 10 to the negative third molar, we would need to do the negative log of that number. So right now, I'd like you to grab that calculator that you have nearby and just make sure that you're getting the same answers that I am as I uh, write them here, just to make sure you're typing it into your calculator correctly. When you do the negative log of 2.7 times 10 to the negative third, you should get 2.57, approximately, is your answer there. Uh, so some calculators, I'll give, try to give you a little bit of guidance on your calculator. Some calculators, you have to type in the number first, then hit the log button, 
and then hit the negative sign, it's almost like you're going backwards, that you'd type in the 2.7 times 10 to the negative third first, then the log button, then the negative sign uh, to get that 2.57. Uh, some people, it's not that way. It kind of de depends on your calculator, but just make sure you practice a little bit uh, with it so that way you're, the first time you're doing this on your own is not when you're taking a quiz on this topic, right? Or if we did, what is the pH of a substance that had a H plus concentration of 4.8 times 10 to the negative 6? We're going to do the negative log of 4.8 times 10 to the negative 6. If you type that in your calculators, you'll get an answer of 5.32, approximately. Notice how this, where we say, what is the exponent? And this are not the same thing. The reason why these two numbers are not the same thing, even though logs are supposed to tell you the exponent, is when you hit the log button in your calculator, it's saying, what do I have to raise the number 10 to to get this value? I would like you to type in your calculators right now, 1 times 10 to the negative 2.57. So take that 2.57 and make it the exponent because logs solve for exponents, right? So type in 1 times 10 to the negative 2.57. When you do that, you should get as an answer 0 0.0027, approximately. Well, isn't that the same thing as this number right here? When you are solving for those logs, it's you're solving for what is it when it's 1 times 10 to the something, what is the something that you have to raise it by to equal this uh, concentration, this H plus, right? Um, what is that number? And then that solves for your pH. There's a correlation there. So it's kind of like how three halves and 1.5 are the exact same number, but they look nothing alike. One's a fraction, one's a decimal, one has threes and twos, one has ones and fives. They look nothing alike, but they mean the same thing. So 1 times 10 to the negative 2.57 is the exact same thing as 2.7 times 10 to the negative third. Your calculator is turning it into a number that you can have the 1 times 10 to the something instead of the 2.7 times 10 to the something. Same thing here, if you tried to take that 5.32, that's the power of your hydrogen, right? That's what P stands for in the pH. So your power of your hydrogen is 5.32. 1 times 10 to the negative 5.32. If you type that in your calculator, you should get 0 .000000. 000 Four, eight. That number. It's the same thing, right? So if you know your H plus concentration and you want to find the pH, you take the negative log of that H plus concentration.